During the OFL's sixth decade, the labor movement confronted growing government threats to hard-won worker, union, social, and political protections. Many MPPs elected in the Mike Harris government now had seats in Harper's majority government. This meant anti-social and anti-worker policies across the country. The OFL rallied against Premier McGuinty's unlawful Bill 115. That bill removed the collective bargaining rights of education workers. Labor also organized against austerity budgets, against skyrocketing inequality, and against privatization of public assets. After the deaths of four Toronto workers and the critical injury of another when they fell from unsafe scaffolding in December of 2009, the OFL took the lead in saying enough is enough. This was a completely and totally preventable accident. We set about at that day and that time putting together a campaign that essentially said to the public and to the employers and even to workers, kill a worker, you go to jail. That has got to be the price that employers will pay for negligence in their workplaces that results in the deaths of workers. The Federation called for legal action in what would become one of the OFL's most tireless campaigns, kill a worker, go to jail. The OFL has not let this campaign falter, continuing to push for criminal investigations and full employer accountability every time a worker is killed on the job, even when justice takes years. A project manager at Metron was sentenced to prison for his role in the deaths that launched Kill a Worker Go to Jail. OFL President Chris Buckley was there for the verdict. Strong message today, strong message to every employer in the province uh, that they better have a heads up. This accident did not need to happen, these deaths did not need to happen, and the judge has sent shivers down the spines of every employer in the province today, a right result. Since 2015, the OFL has been at the forefront of reasserting workers' interests in the biggest government overhaul of its labour laws and employment standards in almost 30 years, the Changing Workplaces Review. Our amendments to Bill 148 are intended to help every worker in the province. And I know through my years of collective bargaining what unions provide to workers in a workplace and what unions provide to our communities. The Federation continues to work with community, making sure the most vulnerable workers are heard. In 2016, the OFL, in partnership with Fight for 15 and Fairness, launched the Make It Fair campaign. That led to wins from changes to scheduling to a raise in the minimum wage. We understand that the employment landscape of Ontario has shifted dramatically over the last decade. It's time the government change the employment standards and labour law to adapt to those changes so all workers in the province have a fair opportunity to earn a fair living and be treated with respect and dignity in every workplace across the province. For 60 years, the OFL has fought for the rights of workers. We invite you to join us to keep the struggle strong and reclaim every victory, no matter how big or small, for social justice in Ontario. Thank you.